Hi everyone, welcome back to another Excel tip video. Today we'll be diving into a quick and powerful tool in Excel called the Sparkline. A Sparkline is simply a tiny chart that feeds into a cell of an Excel worksheet. The Sparkline helps you to provide a visual representation of your data. Now, let's jump right into it. Looking at my screen, I have um, different products from products 1 to 10 and I have their income generated from January to December. Now, let's see how we make use of this part line to represent this data. The first thing is what to do is you want to highlight the range where this part line is going to flow into. And then I go click on insert. I come right to this group called spark line and i click on the line okay so the next thing you have to do is to select the data range all i need to do is to highlight all my profits from january to december for the 10 products and i hit enter now you can see how my spark line is looking nice and neat so automatically when you add a spark line you have an additional ribbon which is called the spark line so under the spark line you can edit your spark line and do a lot of things for me i want to make my spark line show the highest point and also the low point we know generally when we say something is good which is high we can make use of green and when we say something is bad we can make use of red but the default of this part line is it's going to make use of red for both the high and the low but for me i want to change the high to green how do i do that i come to the marker color here and i change eye point to green now you can see this particular spark line for product one which is which the highest income is in december you can see 32,000, and you can see is now the highest let's also make use of another kind of spark line and now i'll be making use of the shortcut and to do that i'll make use of alt n s o which is the column spark line for your line spark line you make use of alt n s l so the next thing is for me to highlight the range of data and i click on ok now you can see um, i have my column spark line but this is not really telling me anything okay the first thing you want to do when you make use of your column spark line is you want to increase the height of your rows now very quickly let me do that just now so yeah this is looking nice and neat okay now looking at this i also want to give this um the highest point i want to make it green while the lower point i want to make it red so i click on spark line and i say click on high point and also click on low point the next thing for us to change our high points to green and our low points we leave it as red click on these and i'll change this to green now this is making a bit of sense right you can see this green 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 at the high point and we also have the low point but there is one more thing i would like to show us looking at this highest point for product one which is 32,000, while the highest point for product two is 25,000, the bars are also looking the same which means the bars are not speaking to the values there's a need for us to make this bar speak to the exact value how do we do that you come back to your spark line and then to this particular group you can see group i'll click on axis and i have two different sections the first section is saying vertical axis minimum value option i want to make same for all spark line so i'll click on this and also do the same thing for the maximum values option as well now you can see this 25 is now lower than this 32,000. take for example i will change this particular 25 to maybe 15,000. 15, now you can see how it's speaking to it or i even come to this place and i say this was a loss for the period so i put minus just at the front and you can see how all my 
spark lines are working nice and neat so let's change this to 40,000 you can see how everything is working nice and neat so this is how to make use of spark line to represent our data in excel